Welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is Rainbow Duck. Normally 99 cents, purchased for 54. <laughs> this can't possibly be bad. It's called Rainbow Duck. Literally, there's nothing more you need in life. Incidentally, this sound button right here, when you click it, just turns everything off. Sound either exists or doesn't exist. Uh, let's go. Start. Uh, start? There we go. What? Um. Huh? Can we get an instant replay on everything that just happened? Okay, start. Oh. Okay, it's the mouse control. Duh. Hmm. Oh, God. Well, our best is going up slightly. But how was I supposed to do that one? I really hope there's more to this game than this. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Oh, we're rainbow ducking. We're rainbow ducking so hard. Oh. So it looks like it's randomly generated too, which is nice, but that also tends to mean you can get into unwinnable situations. Shouldn't these games like start a little easy and then build up to the difficult parts? What? Instant replay, please. Upon further review, the play is confirmed on the field. Maybe I set my expectations a little too high with Rainbow Duck. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. New record. Okay. You know what? Hang on. When you launch the game, it shows you controls. Give me a sec. Apparently, you can also use up, down, left, right to do some stuff. So let's do some stuff. Oh, God. I've lost control of the process. So that part of the controls was a lie. It also did say WASD. Nope, that's not working with both of them. None of them. It's just the mouse. Okay. So this is basically a one button game. You could play this on Atari. But how? For the record, the duck itself isn't rainbow. Just the level is. I want my money back. I am almost catastrophically bored right now. It jumps back and forth so quickly that you have no time to react before you're dead. See, right there, let's go back and analyze what just happened. Because I went up, I was doomed. There was literally no way to get out of that. So because of the complete random generation, you can literally just put a, be put in situations where you have no way of winning. Also, games like this really need more exciting music. I mean, it's called Rainbow Duck. Surely you can do better music than this. Which sounds like Killer7 and Earthbound had a very, very weird child. This is like VVVVVV, but with everything enjoyable taken out and replaced with a duck that appears to have a spoiler on the back of it. Am I seriously only going to get to 10? I'm honestly trying my hardest here. I swear. Okay, I'm beginning to get angry now. But why? Oh my god. We did it! Wow, all the way to 12. Is there anything more to this game? Hang on. Research break. In researching this game, I've discovered something very terrifying. This game is early access. What more can you do to this game? What can be added to bring it out of early access? It looks like it's done. It's bad and done. Of all the games to be early access, what is Rainbow Duck doing at early access? There's nothing here. I'm not gonna look at early access as being an excuse for having no content, not anymore. A lot of early access games do have a lot of stuff in them. If you're gonna release a 50 cent early access game, come on, look at this. What more could you possibly have to mess with? I also wanna point out that one of the reviews called the game a masterpiece. I don't know if he's being sarcastic because with Steam reviews, you can never really tell. So the question is, is Rainbow Duck worth a dollar? Mm, nah. This is it. It's just a void for as long as you can. It's an arcade style game. And yeah, that can be kind of fun in certain aspects. But when it's this random, when the levels are generated entirely at random, to the point where you could just get into 
situations where you can't win, that's, that's no fun. Absolutely no fun. Plus, for a game with as fun a name as Rainbow Duck, it's kind of boring. I mean, the ground and ceiling are colorful, but the duck is, like, non-moving. I really wanted a game called Rainbow Duck to be awesome, you know? Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more regular gaming content, including new episodes of Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, and 10 Things You Missed. Thanks again, I'm Brian J, and I will see you next time.